What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm starting off a little hello weekend vlog. It's Friday night, we're only dressing up and going out once this weekend. Our friend is having like a family Halloween party, but I just like to dress up, I think it's fun. So I'm getting our costume ready. I've got, we got colored contacts this year. I've always wanted to wear them. So hopefully I can actually get them in my eyes. Um, but I need to put these in the case because they have to soak for at least two hours. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these in the case. I thought I read the instructions today because I didn't know they had to soak. Like if I didn't, I would have just tried to put them in yesterday. I know nothing about contacts. Like this is labeled left and right, but these aren't labeled left and right. So it doesn't matter. Like I genuinely don't know. I only got one contact lens case. And I'm, Will's also gonna wear contacts, so we need to go get another one from CVS so that he can soak his contacts. I gave him options. I also got, cause it was buy two, get one free. So I got Luna, which are the white ones I'm wearing, and then Zombie Red. So he has to choose what he wants. All right, so I got this solution. And my hands are clean. Guess we just put it in there. I'm so scared to put these in my eyes tomorrow. I am not gonna know what I'm doing. How do you get them? <laughs> oh, there you go. All right, one. They're very like flimsy. These look like paper. I feel like the ones my mom wore and stuff weren't like this. Is that right? All right, well, in you go. I didn't even tell you guys our costume. We are, if you haven't figured it out, we are going to be zombie bride and groom. I felt like there's no like better year to do this than like the year you're engaged. So I got my little veil. And then I got this cheap dress because I'm gonna cover it in blood. I'm honestly pretty excited. I also got scar wax to make like cuts and stuff all over us and some fake blood. So I'm going to need to figure out how the heck to use this stuff. I put my finger in it and it like sticks. And also it's pink. I ordered the, like the palest shade, but I didn't think it would be pink. So I don't know, we'll see. Hopefully it all comes together. I want to go ahead and cover like the stuff that needs to be covered with blood with blood today so that it dries so that we're not walking around with wet blood all over us. I have this coagulated blood, but I kind of want to save this more for like our face. And I have fabric paint I'm thinking I'm gonna use for like this. But we need to get on Pinterest. I need I need some inspo for what I'm doing. Honestly, a lot of these like zombie brides don't really have blood on their outfit. It's more so just on their like bodies. This is kind of like the one I was going for. She has blood on her veil, so I think I'll just cover the veil in blood. And then I'm gonna cover Will's shirt in blood. Ooh. Okay. I just had like two meetings in a row, so I had to take a break, but I am going to smear blood, fake blood, <laughs> all over my veil. I was debating between using like fabric paint and making like a blood-like color, or just using the blood I bought, because I want to make sure we have enough blood for tomorrow. Ooh, ew. Ew, it's like thick. I'm glad it comes with a little brush though. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of both. So I'm gonna do some paint and some of the fake blood. I'm gonna do paint for Will's shirt because I'm gonna need a lot more. I don't have black paint, I only have brown and red. So I'm gonna mix a bunch of brown in the red and make like a, I wish I had black. I definitely need like a darker 
color. I mean, I feel like this looks like ketchup. <laughs> All right, whatever. I'm just gonna... Actually, that looks pretty good. I don't even have paint brushes. I'm literally using a Q-tip. Honestly, I'm happy with that. I think that's good enough. I don't feel like I need that much. So, I'm gonna leave this out to dry and then we're gonna do Will's shirt. Can I rip his sleeve? Mm -hmm. I don't know what in the world I thought I was gonna be able to do that. Just take like a preferably jagged kind of knife. That's gonna cut really cleanly and not. I'm just gonna cut the stitching. What are you doing on the stitching? Should I do it down here? Yeah. Do I, oh, do I rip it all the way off? Mm. You can do that or, or you can take it off. It's just once you do it, it's, it's done. What do you want? This is your outfit. Whatever makes you happy. You want me to rip it off or what? Yeah, I think it looks good. It's like, oh god, it does stab me. Yeah. He's dead. Good job. Oh, I'm done? Yeah. All right. I put some of the coagulated blood on his shirt, and honestly, it looks really good. Oh, I just got it all over my hand. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna rub that all over the shirt. It's almost like a purple. Looks pretty good. Hopefully this comes off my hands and doesn't stain them. I am gonna take like some paint and put my hands in it. And I'm gonna like put my hand on it and then rub it down. I don't wanna go too overboard because I think like subtle is kind of good, but the red paint's definitely like very red. It looks pretty good. That looks great, baby. Okay, it is one. I'm finally getting around to drinking my coffee. I just haven't been in like a coffee mood lately. I don't know why. It just hasn't been hitting the same. I don't, the only thing I've changed is getting this organic almond milk. <laughs> but I honestly feel like my coffee not hitting started before I made that switch, so. Hello, thank you. It's just not hitting. Ugh, I don't even like it. Fridays are always like extremely, extremely chill, relaxed work days. Cause usually by Friday I have most of my work done anyway. So that's where we are. Both of my apps are like deployed into production. So the only really thing I need to do with them is get feedback. So when our business partners start using them, they'll like provide me with feedback if I, they need more features or whatever. So I'm kind of just chilling. I do have a big like department wide meeting at two. But then that's my last meeting for the day, so. And then I'm finally going and getting my hand tats touched up. And I'm gonna get a few more. My self tan is so bad, but this is the Aries constellation on my middle finger. Getting that touched up. The tulip, my favorite flower. And then I have delicate written on the side of my finger, which has totally gone away. Hand tats, like, fade really easily and a lot of times you have to get them touched up like three or four times before they really stick like a normal tattoo does so i have that touch-up appointment today at 4 30. that's that's kind of the plan we're gonna go hang out with our neighbors later i added stevia and now it's too sweet so hard to see because it's backlit but will got shinji this suction cup bed and he is so obsessed with it he sleeps in it all day long, it's so cute. So you can just look out the window. You love your bed? 
He's wet because he's obsessed with playing with water. We can't leave a water bowl on the ground because he just spills it everywhere. You are crazy cat. Crazy, crazy, crazy cat. <laughs> like actual meals like actual recipes i've honestly been kind of enjoying it nothing like super crazy or complicated but like i just made some little lettuce wrap tacos for lunch which is a lot better than just like snacking for lunch which i'm very notorious for doing just sitting at my desk with like a bag of pretzels or something. My skin has been so bad lately. I don't know what it is, but it's just like, it's not even just like blatant breakouts and it's just like texture and really large pores. I don't really know what is going on, but I'm really bad at picking at my face. I'm so bad about it and then it just makes it worse and I think it's just a vicious cycle. And I just put way too much primer on. My um, tattoo girl just messaged me. Her client before me canceled. So she asked if I wanted to come in early and I can usually dip out early on Fridays. It's almost four o'clock now, so it's not really a big deal. So I'm gonna do my makeup and then go get these tattoos done. I'll put my tattoo artist's Instagram up on the screen if you're interested. She, I don't know if she technically, like, I don't really know. I didn't ask any questions when I went and saw her. I just liked her work on her Instagram. I don't know if she technically is a fine line artist. I don't think she is, but she's really good at doing the like more delicate style tattoos so that's why i went with her like that is just so cool i don't get anything that intricate but if i wanted to she could do it i just found her on instagram also i went really hard on the self tanner last night so it's definitely a little bit more streaky than normal my skin is just so bad it's also just like dry and i mean can you see this like just like really bad texture and dryness. Not cute. Maybe I need to drink more water. I just don't like, I hate when my skin feels like this because I just feel like makeup makes it look worse. Like it's just like making my skin peel and look bad. All right guys, we're in the car. I switched you to my G7X. Let's go get these tattoos touched up. I go to White Fox Tattoo Studio. I'm excited. I'm not gonna lie guys, that hurt way more than I remember it hurting, but we're touched up. We have an airplane now, some more stars. The delicate is back. So hands are done for their foreseeable future. I think it hurt more because that's the first time I've ever gotten a tattoo by myself. Like every other tattoo I've had, someone's been with me to like hold my hand and give me moral support. So I honestly think that's why it hurt more because I didn't have like a distraction. But my mom was so cute. She sent me a package. It was supposed to be a surprise, but she texted Will in like a group message that I was also in asking if I'd gotten her surprise package today. So it's from Sherry's Berries. I'm assuming it's like chocolate covered strawberries. I don't know why she sent this. That is so cute. Cute. Why am I gonna cry? I've been so emotional lately. Oh, I'm literally gonna cry. Why am I like this? Just have the best day and weekend, no stress, love mom. I've been stressed about, we haven't even started wedding planning and literally 
just scheduling venue tours. Hush, trust me out. Oh yeah, I'm about to eat them all right now for my dinner. I can't believe you sent me something on your birthday. <laughs> I am getting Will's like post-workout meal ready for him. He is at the gym and he'll be back within like 30 minutes or so. And then he needs to eat. And then we're going over to our neighbors to do like a mocktail night, which I think will be cool. She is like really into the different like types of teas and stuff like Kratom, Kava, those kinds of teas. I have tried Kratom before. I used to use Kratom tea when I was studying in college. It's supposed to be like an energizing type tea. So she wanted to have us over to do some little like tea mocktails, I guess. So I'm being a wonderful, amazing future wifey. And I'm gonna make his meal so that we can get out the door. So really I have ulterior motives, but you know, it still counts. I thought I was gonna wait and talk about this in a vlog at more towards the end of November, but I'm so impatient. I just, I wanna talk about it now. So I just got this book, it's called Dopamine Nation. It is all about, I'll just read it. This book is about pleasure and pain, how to find the delicate balance between the two. We live in a time of unprecedented access to high reward, high dopamine stimuli. Drugs, food, news, shopping, gaming, messaging, sexting, basically digital dopamine or 24 7 wired it's what this book is about and it's something i've been like oddly passionate about lately just my own personal desire to get off of my freaking phone and into the world i don't know i just feel like i am chronically online i sit down for dinner i have to be scrolling on tiktok i am at a stoplight which is horrible and I'm scrolling on tiktok it's just something that I really wanna get under control and I wanna stop living inside my phone. I think it just, not only is it probably just bad for you to be constantly getting those dopamine hits, but there's other things that come with it that are bad for you, like comparing yourself to others, overconsumption, so like spending money on shit you do not need. Before I bought this book, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos on it, which seems counterintuitive, but whatever, I'll link them down below if you are also interested in this kind of stuff just other people's points of views on the, this world we live in where we're all so online. So I'm just kind of going on like a personal journey to get down my screen time is like the best way to wrap it all up into one easy sentence, but there, I feel like there's a lot more to it. That's why I got this book, I'm excited. I will link it if anyone is interested. And, there's, and then I'm, I'm having like my own internal battle as well because just constantly linking stuff just like I'm contributing to this world of overconsumption and overspending and I don't know, it's like it's it's like a tough line to walk where I almost feel bad telling you guys about this, but I just want you to know that I only tell you and link stuff that I actually think are valuable and yeah, I don't know. I, I'm still trying to get my thoughts around it myself because I love sharing my life with you guys but I haven't totally decided yet but I am going to be taking like a little break at some point um maybe I'm thinking towards the end of the year so more around the holidays I might take a little break from social media not like not posting at all but just not as Consistently, maybe I'm thinking December. I'll probably take a couple weeks off or something YouTube and TikTok. I think I just put too much pressure on myself in the sense that I'm like, all right You have to upload every day on TikTok. You have to upload two or three times a week on YouTube And so my plan is still in the works, but I think in December I'm going to Not not post so I'm not going to be like all right no posting in December But I'm also not going to plan out my posting so I'm not going to have everything calculated out a month in advance. If I feel like vlogging one day, I'll vlog. If I want to edit it a week later and get it up for you guys, I'll edit it. If I want to film a sit down video, I'll film it. But I'm not going to, like right now, all of my, it's October 27th, I think. And all my videos for November are already planned out, like over a month in advance. So 
I think I just need to freaking relax, take a deep breath, and get off the internet for a little bit. <laughs> I just want to get it under control, you know? I feel like, and I think being self-aware is the first step. So, I know we all kind of struggle with it because it's such a new thing. Like, our parents didn't grow up with social media, phones like we have. So, it's definitely interesting. Hi guys, I am just doing some laundry. We are about to start getting ready to go to a Halloween party. So I need to start getting ready. It's so early, but like I am just so done with being in a rush. So I'm going to allow myself plenty of time. I need to be out the door by 5.45. The party starts at seven. It's like a little bit of a drive and we're meeting up with some friends first. So I need to be out the door at 5.45. So I'm gonna allow myself like three hours to get ready, honestly. Usually I only allow myself about an hour, but that just hasn't been cutting it lately. And I mean, we have nothing else to do today, so might as well give myself plenty of time. We walked this morning to get some bagels at Pete's Bagels. I love Pete's, but that walk was freaking brutal. It's not like, it's a walking distance. It's about a 20 minute walk from us, but it's not like a walking path. Like we were like walking on the side of the highway. So it was like not, it was just miserable, you know, like it wasn't a peaceful, nice morning walk. And it's also like 90 degrees here. Our little taste of fall weather was pretty short lived. I'm honestly really excited about our costume. I'm hoping it comes together how it's in my head, like in real life, we'll see. I did not need to step on you. You can't lay right under my feet. Are you mad at me? Are you mad at me? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, buddy. I think the part I'm most nervous about is definitely the contacts, just putting them in my eyes. And I feel like they are necessary for the costume to work. So if I can't figure out how to get them in my eyes, I just feel like it's gonna be a fail. We're getting ready. I'm simultaneously gonna get ready on TikTok. Follow me over there if you don't already. Shameless plug. I'm excited because I have to do like, gore, not gory, but you know, more in-depth makeup than usual. So I'm excited because I think that stuff is fun. Does it look scary? I feel like I need to like pause and Google how to do this. Can you bring your laptop so you can do that? That would be so amazing, thank you. I love being amazing. All right. <laughs> oh my God, it looks so creepy. All right, I've got my bar wax on. I have some fake blood, as you guys know, that I'm gonna put there out my nose. It's honestly a little bit like grosser than I thought because I'm not gonna lie, I'm still trying to look sexy. Like I want to look sexy, but how do you look sexy and dead at the same time? I don't know. But I'm switching over to my hair now because the next step for my face would be the contacts. Because I feel like I should do the contacts before I do eyeliner and mascara, right? Maybe I should do the eyeliner, then the contacts, then the mascara. Maybe that. So we're going in. with some curls. I got this coffee earlier, but like the walk back was so hot and miserable that I just, I didn't feel like I could enjoy it. So I just saved it, which honestly I'm glad I did because now I can enjoy it. Your call has been forwarded to voice. Hey, Will is at the store. Should we bring anything? Question mark. A lot of the vloggers that I watch and I love are like very like settled down in a sense. Like maybe they're having kids or trying for kids or have kids or I don't know. Sometimes I am like, am I, am I acting my age? Sometimes I wonder if I am too old to still want to be going out Halloween weekend and but then I kind of talk some sense into myself and I'm like, you have the rest of your life to settle down, go live in a house somewhere with kids and whatnot. So it's just another example of comparing myself where I'm like, 
do people think that I am just crazy for being 25 and still wanting to go out and I don't want to say party because I'm definitely not like in a party era like I went through that probably right after college like 21 22 but I still enjoy going out and doing things and my kids are not something I want at all right now like give me probably five to eight years before I'm ready for a child. But yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like, do we need to like buy a house and go settle down and chill out? But then any time when we are chilling out, I am I have FOMO and like I wanna go out and do stuff. So I don't know, just another, another example of me comparing myself. But no, I think we need to like live it up. Like we are in a basically, you know, we're not married yet, but basically a dual income household no kids, pets, remote work. Like we should really be taking advantage of this and just living our best life. And I feel like that's what we're doing. So I need to stop being like, feeling guilty about it in a sense. I just need to enjoy it. Now hold your eye open. But <laughs> you can't make me laugh. No, hold my eye open. Oh yeah. All right, all right. Oh, you blinked too God. hard. <laughs> Shut like that. Do people with contacts have to do this every day? <laughs> God. Just get oh lazy. Let me do it. Let me try it. Let me do Alright, now gently do a little blink. Again. Very <laughs> Sam. Oh my god, you look crazy. This is cracking me up. <laughs> There's something wrong if it hurts that bad. I would just have a dog hair on it. These are so cheap, it just feels like I have paper <laughs> on my eye. <laughs> my face got fun in my eye. <laughs> I'm dying. Here's the final makeup, you guys. I'm pretty happy with it. Now to get dressed, and then I'm gonna put wounds and blood all over my body. All right, final costume reveal. Honestly, I think we kind of slayed. Come here, Will. Yeah. This is probably my favorite costume I've ever done, and I think it's the contacts. This is my first look as a ride. Is it what you expected? Yep, it's where this. On the way to live. Look at this. <laughs> We're on the way to Jared's family's party. Look at how cutie she is. Look at how cutie Little she mouse. is. Little mouse. And then Jared is um, the chef, Ratatouille. Ratatouille. There's Remy. Remy and then we Remy. Remy. Oh, wait, wasn't <laughs> All right, Remy's we're on the way to our party. I think they're more like horror movie-esque. You can't even tell I really have them. You can like, you yeah, you have to look. I think the dark brown in my eyes like fades them out. Yeah. Waist turn, and then cut the cards. And then deal another card. And then cut the cards. And deal another card. And cut the cards. I'm dealing with another card and just keep on doing that until you want to stop. Okay. We'll stop there. Take those cards in your hand and give them a mix of like that, but don't look at them. Put them flat in your hand like that. You've just mixed up the cards, yes? Whatever that top card is, put it to the side. Don't look at it. Put them. Take these. Okay. Of any one of those, your card. Remember, you mixed up the cards. Okay, that's the card you ended up on. Can you tell everyone what your card was? Jack of Spades. If that card was the Jack of Spades, that'd be pretty Flip amazing. It. Let's have a look. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> Alright, we're trying to take these out. Come on. Why'd you do it? 
All right, so do this look. I'm watching. Move it like over off your eye. Like this, look. See how it's off my eye and then I just grab it. It hurts. I'm doing it wrong. You're definitely doing it wrong if it hurts. I'll do it, just chill. I can never wear these. I'm glad my vision's perfect. See, got it. <laughs> do you have perfect vision? Yes. I don't want to curse my kids for <laughs> shit. We do, we do how we get. <laughs> Back to our brown eyes. <laughs> Are you hurting? It hurts. <laughs> Does it actually? Good morning, guys. That is pretty much a wrap on Halloween weekend, I feel like, because, well, we're not doing anything else for Halloween. We had fun last night. It was just a nice kind of chill night, but I am so upset right now because the blood that I had like on my chest and neck and everything got in my hair and has like stained my hair pink. I just took a shower and did clarifying shampoo and purple shampoo. It's only in like a few spots, but one of the spots is my bang right here. So I'm thinking about cutting <laughs> my bangs. The other spot is like all of this right here. Ugh, I obviously can't cut that. Like eventually it'll grow out and I'll be able to cut it, but I think I'm just gonna have to live with it. But definitely, and I saw it getting in my hair last night and there was really nothing I could do about it. And I was just hoping it wouldn't stain. But it definitely, definitely did. I'm just gonna let my hair air dry and then we'll see like how bad it actually is. Ugh, I mean, I can see it like. Like I said, there's really not that much I can do about it. So when my hair dries, I'll see what parts I can cut out. But otherwise I'm just gonna have some pink streaks in my hair. Some people online are saying baking soda and vinegar to get it out, but I don't know. I'm gonna see what it looks like when it dries. Okay, my hair is dry. You can see where it dyed it, like right here, really. I feel like it's not that bad. I don't know. How noticeable is it? Yeah, I feel like I really see it. Yeah. Google said vinegar and baking soda. Um, and then other people said shimmer lights, which is what I used. It's like purple shampoo. And other people said it just kind of slowly comes out with each wash. But this isn't as bad as I thought. The bang part, there's a little bit there, but worse is definitely this part down here. Oh well, gotta do what you gotta do. I'll probably just wash my hair like a little bit more than usual this week, maybe every other day because I know it's not that big of a deal, but it's annoying me. Like I feel like it's so frustrating, but I am going to LA next weekend to visit my friend Julie who just moved here. It's funny because we literally met when I moved to Tampa, so we've only known each other like a few months, but then she moved to California like two months after we met. Um, but I honestly really love her. She's really easy to get along with. She's just like a very chill person. So I'm gonna go see her, I'm excited. Her and her friend Maggie live together. I love Maggie too. So that's this coming up weekend. I'm honestly excited about that. I've never been to the West Coast. I've never been to California. The farthest West I've gone, which is pretty far is um, Vegas, but I feel like that's a whole nother vibe, obviously, than California. So I'm really excited to go. It looks so beautiful from all their photos. I just walked over to Publix, got some pasta. I haven't had the Annie's mac and cheese, but everyone says it's really good. So stir in pasta, cook eight to 10 minutes. Oh shit, I don't have milk. Okay, I can use butter. 
We have been having the laziest Sunday, which has been amazing. I am gonna do like a little bit of cleaning, like a Sunday reset type situation, like a mini one, probably later today, maybe around dinner time before bed. I do want to clean up the space for Monday. I'm just not ready yet. I wanna keep relaxing, it's like three o'clock. Honestly, probably whenever Will decides to go to the gym, I'll do my like cleaning and reset routine and everything. Can you be sweet? Can you be sweet, please? Yeah, I'm really not hungover at all and I feel like we got home at a decent time. Like, babe, what time would you say we got home last night? Like before midnight? I feel like we got home at like 10 p.m. because the party started at 7.30, so. Yeah, and I really didn't drink that much. I just like, I don't know, wasn't feeling it. It's a special time. What time is that? Halloween. Uh oh. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end off this vlog. We cleaned up in here, it feels so much better. Got some laundry going, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the vlog here. We're gonna spend the rest of our night watching Netflix and I honestly will probably be asleep within the hour, hopefully. Make sure you subscribe if you are not already. I know this vlog was kind of all over the place, but I feel like it was just a real like Halloween weekend. I will see you guys so very soon in my next video. Bye guys.